I wanted to put together a quick video that had the hints for the mastery problem in chapter 13. And I just numbered all the transactions, so starting January 15th through February 15th. So all these transactions that are on page 403 of your book, I have numbered them. And then I've said what journal they're going to go in. So when we're paying cash, it's in cash payments. When it's just the payroll taxes, it's in the general journal. And then I said, which journal entry is it like? So one, two, three, four, five. And if you recall, that is from this journal entry summary that we had in Canvas that I also explained recording payroll, payroll taxes, and then all our liabilities. And so I try to say which journal entry it's like. This one says none because when I'm paying my medical premiums, um, it's sent to someone else, so I'll just credit cash and debit the liability for that. I've also given other comments over here to try to help you determine which amounts ought to be utilized when we do this. So keeping track between the employer and employee and, and other useful hints. And then down here at the bottom, in the general journal, there were three times that we were doing it. So here, here, and here. Whenever we did that, here is what the debit ought to be. So we credit the four liabilities that the pay, um, the employer always has to pay, and we add them up, and we get this debit. So I've given you the debit amounts to help you know that you computed correctly. And then I've given you the cash payment journal column total, so the total for general debit, general credit, and cash credit. So that should help you uh, complete this problem. It is a hard one for sure. It's what was typically on the test as well. Um, so if you can handle this problem, you can handle any payroll problem that comes your way.